Hi everyone, uh, today's topic is uh, trigonometry. So let's get started with the basics of trigonometry that we have already studied in 10th standard. So what is trigonometry? Trigonometry is nothing but study of, of right angle triangle. So, we already know what is a right angle triangle. This is a triangle. In this triangle, this is your 90 degree, this is angle theta. Now, let me mark perpendicular, this is perpendicular, this is base, and this is your hypotenuse. This is A vertex, this is B, this is your C vertex. So, in the 10th standard, what all we have studied? We have studied three relations, basic three relationships. One is your cos theta. Cos theta is equal to base upon hypotenuse. Another one is sin theta. Sin theta is equal to your perpendicular upon hypotenuse. Tan theta. Tan theta we already know that is perpendicular upon base. And the other three reciprocals like in cos theta reciprocal of cos theta is your sec theta sec theta is equal to 1 upon cos theta and 1 upon cos theta that is equal to hypotenuse upon base now another function cosec theta what is cosec theta that is equal to 1 upon sin theta now 1 upon sin theta again that is equal to height upon hy sorry hypotenuse upon perpendicular. The last one is cot theta that is 1 upon tan theta. Now one, what is 1 upon tan theta? That is base upon perpendicular. So these were the basic function that we have already studied in the 10th standard and three more formulas that we were introduced in 10th standard or uh, we have studied that is sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. The other one is sec square theta minus tan square theta is equal to 1. The last one is cos x square theta minus cot square theta is equal to 1. So these are the three relationships that we have studied in 10th standard. So now begin with what is in what's new in the 11th standard. Now let's begin with a new topic that is angles. So basics of angles you already know what are what is the basic of an angle. So uh, let's get started with the sign convention of let's sign convention of of angles. By sign convention, we mean that we are going to study two kind of sign convention for angles. One is positive angle and the other is negative angle. So positive angle and the other is your negative angle. So let's see what is a positive angle and what is a negative angle. So this is your initial side and this is your terminal side. This is initial side, this is your terminal side. This is how we draw the angle. And now, if we take this angle in the anti clockwise direction, I mean, if you are going from initial either or terminal side in an anti clockwise direction, in that case, the angle is taken to be positive. So, this angle is taken to be positive. So this is a sign convention, nothing to do with the concepts. So now let's take another. Now if we are going, so this is initial side again, this is your terminal side, this is initial side, this is your terminal side. So again, now if we take the angle in the clockwise direction as we move from initial side to the terminal side. So it means now we are taking angle in the clockwise direction. So what we positive 
that is anti clockwise direction if we say got it now if we take this angle is taken to be the negative angle negative angle when when we take the angle in the clockwise direction so when we are taking the clock the angle in the clockwise direction then it is by sign convention it is taken as a negative angle so let's move to the measure of angles now let's study measure of angles so this is your measure of angles so as we have already studied there are two kind of angles one is what is the measure of angle that we have studied degrees that we have already studied second now the second that we are introducing is a radian now this is the new measure of angle that we are taking so now let's see degree you already know so i don't think so there is need of any discussion the new thing that we are introducing is radian so radian is a measure so let's understand what is a radian how to measure radian radian so radian as the name suggests radian is uh, basically it comes it is the relationship between the angle subtended by an arc at the center of a circle and the radius so let us see what is the relationship between the arc of a circle length of the arc that is length of the arc this is your radius this is radius this is your center of the circle this is a circle with radius r and length of the arc so if we you define how we define one radian so one radian is the measure of its angle subtended by an arc of length r at the center so if we say taking a circle of radius r and the length of the arc this arc is equal to r then the angle subtended at the center is one radian so one radian is nothing so i'll just say one radian it is the angle subtended by an arc of length r Represented by an arc of length r at the center of center of at the center of a circle of radius r. So one radian. Similarly, if we say two radians. so two radian length of the arc is equal to 2r for three radians length of the arc is equal to 3r and so on so or we can also define one radian in the term of a unit circle so if we say about if we see this is a unit circle means a circle with a radius of 1 unit either 1 cm 1 meter or this is 1 unit if the length of the arc is 1 unit then this angle is said to be your 1 radian so 1 radian can also be defined as the angle subtended by a length of 1 unit length of o oh, the length of arc one unit in a unit circle at the center so it can be defined both in both ways so now let's move to the relationship between now relationship between between 
radians and degrees. Now, for that, let us again go to a circle. A circle with this is the center and this is your radius. Now, see when we see this whole angle, this angle is this angle. What is will be the length of the arc when this whole angle is subtended? It means if one revolution is taken, then what is the length of the arc? Length of the arc will be equal to circumference. And what is the circumference? Circumference is nothing but circumference is equal to 2 pi r. Now we have from the definition what we have studied is that radii, radians degree comes in multiple of radius. So it means if we talk about one radian, so then the length of the arc will be equal to r. If we talk about two radians, then length of the arc is equal to 2r and so on. So for now if we compare this with this the definition of radian then we conclude that 2 pi radians 2 pi radians hmm, so, 2 pi radians is the angle measure of angle in radians that will be applicable for a complete revolution of a circle that is for complete circumference. Now we already know for a complete revolution now we already know that for a complete revolution the measure of degree is equal to 360 degree. Now comparing it with the radian. So now if we compare with the radians. So what is radian? Now 2 pi radians is equal to 360 degree. Now 1 radian will be equal to 360 upon 2 pi that is equal to 180 upon pi or if we say pi radians is equal to 180 degree and 1 radian is equal to 180 upon pi degrees. So this is the relationship between your radian and degree. Now another part when we take radians degree and radian. So again 180 degree is equal to pi radians. Now 1 degree is equal to pi by 180 radians. So this is the relationship between your radian and degree. So today we have completed the basic concept of radians, degree, measure of angles, convention of angles. This is all for the lecture. See you in next lecture.